हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार फाइनली वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर यूपीएससी जोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज आई हैव अनाउंस्ड इट अबाउट दिस लेक्चर सीरीज वेरी अर्ली बट स्टिल इट टुक सम टाइम टू गेट इट एक्चुअली हैपन ओके एंड इफ यू आर द मेंबर ऑफ माय जोलॉजी टेलीग्राम ग्रुप यू मस्ट नो व्हाई बिकॉज़ आई वाज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दिस बुक which was having 22 years of previous year question papers which i have sorted in more than 200 points right so because of that this youtube lecture series took time to start but today we have started and from this uh, the initial two lectures will be based on introduction and to get to know about all the questions or the queries which the students many students have asked me earlier so we will going to discuss in this two to three lectures today the first lecture will be about the frequently asked questions about upsc zoology okay i have i have announced it about this lecture in uh, my telegram channel so many students have asked me questions about it okay so out of this some selected questions i have uh, taken up and today lecture we are going to discuss those right But before that, a short introduction about those who don't know about our channel and me also. Okay, so I am Pratap Bhosle. So I am the owner of this uh, Italian channel, Zoology UPSC. I am, and currently it has more than four thousand seven hundred members. And uh, along with it, we have an active group also with more than one thousand five hundred member members, where we regularly discuss and share. UPSC zoology material along with the queries also. Okay, I have my own YouTube channel also, Knowledge Institute, and I request you to subscribe to this channel because henceforth all the lectures updates will be given on this channel only, right? And once we have uh, crossed a particular set of subscribers, we will also start our live lecture sessions. but because of the some constraints because of this lockdown i cannot start this live lecture lectures now so first of all i i want to uh, request you to subscribe this youtube channel right and uh, recently i have released this uh, book also so those who want to kick start their preparation i suggest you to buy this book because this book will give an idea about which topics in the subjects are most important what are the questions repeatedly asked and it will also help you at the time when you are going to prepare the, for the syllabus right because i have just enlisted um, all the questions on the same point that has previously been asked so it will be very useful okay and we are going to give a separate lectures for this uh, lecture strategy in that i am going to give a short introduction of this book also so let's start with today's lecture the first question the one of the our students have asked about please share your thoughts on diagram if you are the member of my zoology group uh, you might have known that i have previously also said that our diagram should be self explanatory so this all know this is the life cycle of malaria in this what i have done is that i have just enlisted whatever the uh, required or whatever the important terms and the terminologies in this point also like the sporozoid hypnozoid season this is the exocytic cycle in the liver then the erythrocytic cycle in human uh, rbc in that also trophozoites are what are the blood seasons what are the gametocytes macrogametes and microgametes what are the uh, zygote what is oocyanate what is the gut wall what is the oocyanate when it matures it gives oocyte oocyst sorry Sporozoid. So all of these I have mentioned in the book, uh, in the diagram only. So it will take less time for examiner to understand that this answer will contain all that he wanted. Right? If you know some model answer, sorry, there are some fixed points which fetch marks. Right? There has to be. It has to be some mention. Okay. So. that's why I, i want you to in any diagram you just enlist all of the useful information in that 
question on the diagram itself. Even if this is a cy any cycle like Krebs cycle, you will just mention all the intermediates in the cycle or, along with the uh, enzymes, along with the bioenergetics of that cycle, the inhibitors of the cycle. Okay. But uh, for now, this is just for an example. Uh, if you are, you may stay tuned with me. I'm going to release the notes of each point also. So it will not a uh, much attack for you. Okay. So just stay tuned and this is just for an idea about diagrams. Okay. So what are the points about the diagram you have to remember? The diagram should be self-explanatory. And it should not also be so difficult. Okay. If, if for some people, this may look difficult. So you can... Uh, just eliminate such points which you are you think it are because, because I have speed I can draw it fast but not for any you can just eliminate some of these points just to save your time okay right but other diagrams is important place this right okay and to make a conceptual clarity in the diagram also I have separated this liver phase separated this RBC phase and separate this mosquito flies, right? That's why I have named them differently, right? So this is just the conceptual clarity in the diagram will fetch you more marks. So I think remember, and yes, some of the students may not have that much diagram skill, okay? So they need to invent or they need to draw the diagram in such a way that it should not reflect uh, their skills the low skill in diagram or even if you draw and it does not looks good but it is conceptually perfect then that is also fine okay not everyone has that diagrammatic skill and not everyone who is preparing for zoology is an artist okay so even if you are weak in drawing diagram what the only suggestion is that at least you should write the names correctly and you should draw the diagram in a such a way that at least it conceptually good, right? And the, like this is, if you want a diagram of liver, right? This should be the diagram of liver, okay? Some people draw it like this, some people love like this, like this, okay? Even this is acceptable sometimes, but just make it clear that it should be a presentable, right? You can draw it like this, okay? but it, it will be a false diagram because it does not, uh, pretend anything okay so at least if you try and uh, you could get a good diagram within a two or three attempts okay so that is what about diagram I have to say don't take panic don't be a panic if you have uh, not a pretty much good skill at drawing just make sure that the diagram should be presentable and it should be conceptually correct okay the heart should not be look like uh, bob of blob right this is should not be the diagram of the heart even if you are drawing the heart diagram of the heart it should look at least look like heart right okay that is acceptable it this is looks like heart okay so the next question I I want to know that how much 150 words or 200 means how many pages it consists of please mention in that video okay the, the answer of this question will be coming next to this okay just stay tuned next question is the, the this guy has almost asked every question everyone will ask okay so the first question is how useful is taking mock exams for zoology from evolution or any other okay so the mock are very much important what are the sources which i know the evolution is is one of the best because it is also one of the available only and uh, so all my friends have gone to the uh, those who have gone they have given <coughs> sorry evolution mock only okay so i strongly recommend you it is the same as like it is required for the general studies paper uh, this is also required for the zoology paper however your concepts are clear even if you are phd in zoology you don't con consider that you could write it directly going in the exam you should you would not you will have to give at least 20 papers before the exam right 20 papers means 10 of uh, paper 1 10 of paper 2 so that will give you enough idea about your skill your your uh, speed okay 
so that is why it is very much required okay very much required to have the mock exams then is the any toppers mark mock answer sheets or anything similar available no i don't know as of now even if it becomes available we will let you know on our group can we draw using pen in men's answer with good standards uh, what does it mean actually can we use flow charts okay the flow charts should be used in procedure and steps only yes it will fetch more mark if you have uh, watched the kajal jawala uh, kajal jawala uh, interview or uh, video on youtube she has also uh, she has also told that uh, we should use flow chart to fetch more marks like okay so yes you should use more frequently but uh, not for any point okay it should be either procedure step some chronology right like that okay then uh, can we draw using pen yes you can draw is you can draw diagrams also using pen okay you can write obviously and you can draw diagram any flow chart all you can do in pen and out of pen which pen some ask about which pen blue or black right anything can whether you can use red green actually it's not written anywhere but it is not allowed actually what i have heard from our seniors the red green are not actually allowed so it may be but i recommend you to use either blue or black only some has habit of using both but uh, actually i want you to resist from that why so what some people uh, does is that uh, sometimes they use uh, blue for headings black for writing answer but while the upsc has only 3 hours for 250 marks and, and it is time constraint is so much less that you will not get a time to change even that pencils to think about which pen has to be used okay and what will happen in meanwhile is that in the first four questions you will use blue pen for uh, headings and some might use black pen uh, for writing answers right and after that you will just uh, uh, do the black for heading and uh, blue for writing okay so that should not be ac uh, acceptable also okay so don't do such things okay use only one pen only like blue or black any one but use only one pen and with that plane you can also use it for diagrams only no problem and even if you are using pen you can also uh, use pencil for diagram also that is no problem at all okay for underlines highlighters sketches uh, on all that the blah 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 don't use any highlighters or not you want to highlight any answer on any uh, point just underline it with the use of same pen right but don't use highlighters and all that okay whatever i am telling you is not anywhere written about this not using that and that but this is what a, a standard protocol i have received from the those who have post and secured right okay so this is advice so you can use pencil for diagrams also no problem right? not for writing answers pencil okay next so this is an uh, idea about how the model answer of upsc is you get a one question paper on along with that you get this question paper come answer booklet okay this is given in uh, upsc website i will upload a pdf copy in our telegram group okay so look at this okay these are 150 words questions and you have two pages okay the guy or the lady who was uh, the man who is asking me for that how much pages it is actually 150 so you have to write it within two pages okay someone has uh, the handwriting which may require more save god the indian art someone write only four words in a line okay so for him it will not suffice to pages okay so for this you will have to download this pdf you will have to try that's why you are required to try at least 10 to 20 papers from that 
once you have written you will get to know that when you have completed your answer within two page how many words are there actually and mostly you will not exceed that uh, or even if you exceed that doesn't matter 10 to 20 no one is going to count your words okay so don't think about this that kya uh, bhi kya karu 150 words bhi hai kaise karu kya karu if the limit is given 150 words that means the answer the correct answer will be in 150 words only not exactly plus minus 10 20 okay so you should get this printed okay and after that try writing on this sheet and then see how many words uh, your handwriting gives okay someone has very uh, small handwriting and so, so such handwriting will you know may, may not require two pages they will finish here only okay so that will that is okay that is according to your and writing only 150 170 140 that is adjustable and one thing remember one thing whenever you finish your answer you will have to cut down the all the blanks with any pen with the pen you are using mostly right so this is for 150 and this are put for 250 words there are three pages for all right so this is they have already given you don't need to uh, get uh, additional space you will have to write within it only now next is the how to score high in knowledge okay so the score high i have this is the uh, image from my book okay so i have mentioned it that one example of karthik adappa even if it is the example of 2008 what i have to say is that he was the rank 1 okay in upsc and he got 406 out of 600 for 500 paper this marks uh, we are going around 338 okay for 500 so to consider that if that all india rank one even if he is in 2008 can have zoology as its optional you can also right you can also be a topper you can also course score good but you have to dedicate the time and the effort that kartik and the dr kartik and the pak gave at that time you will have to match that then having zoology optional will not be a concern for you anymore okay so zoology hai iski ki wajah se aapko kabhi bhi post nahi mila aisa nahi hoga okay if you are not getting post it is only because of your efforts are getting not enough somewhere right so okay. these are the examples of some few other super zoology rankers right Uh, then Achit Raj, all in all, in 2013 has 270 score only. Okay, still he has managed to got that. But others in 300 in 2018 we have some good uh, IAS officers like um, Rani, Rena, Jamil, Kajal, Jawala, Pooja Yadav. The Pooja Yadav has score around 325. So this is the score. So that's why I have already saying that the 300 plus score. with a good strategy is not difficult on zoology yes if you are dedicated 300 plus for is not difficult and that is not the case with all of the um, optionals like one of my friend uh, who is currently posted in the cag uh, he actually qualified for uh, four times he secured a rank but every time he has a is optional as political science and he was unable to score more than like 260 or 300 somewhere okay and many times because of his options only he had missed the ias post okay even if he had political science right and uh, the second thing was that even he has the political science but even gs also he has only 90 question in the gs paper okay so that thinking that having zoology having political science or geography as an optional will increase your gs paper marks that is not the case and he was an example that even having political science as an optional he did not cross uh, at that year 91 marks out of 250 in the gs paper okay so if you have any interest in zoology you just take it okay and how can you score the strategy and the help will be provided by our group 
you can also join various coaching institute evolution is that means strawberry is yes that is required okay okay the next uh, part is that what i have done here is the mass of the copper how much can you compare this mass how can you compare if you take the average it will go on 325 even if you consider 360 mark of a topper and in 20 and 18 only the puja yadav had 325 marks so there is a difference of only around 35 marks and i think if you are have the guts you can also manage the difference because that mathematics is i don't know why because this is an exceptional case 361 marks is more than enough and the reason might be the it is the technical question so there are no surprises as like zoology he might be able to do all the syllabus so that's why he has scored 361 marks our zoology also a technical subject and if you are able to do the syllabus thoroughly and attempt all the questions in exam you will be also able to score high okay so let's uh, the next question for this how much content to cover okay <clears throat> in which way okay to ensure such a score 340 plus okay so 340 plus yes your expectations are uh, quite uh, extra enthusiastic but these questions I will be asking, uh, I will be answering in my next lecture. Okay, you will get a very comprehensive idea about this. So, wait for a few hours. Today only I am going to upload that lecture. Okay, next is that. So, please clarify doubts how to start the zoology for UPSC. I have done my master's in geology. Oh, good. I have got all the books and material, but in UPSC strategy, it's a bit different from NET and other exams. Yes, obviously, NET and other exams most uh, are the uh, MCQ types. So can you please throw some light in this matter how to start preparation for zoology as an op UPSC optional where to restrict ourselves how to score more marks okay this is very important where to restrict okay and some online portals which we can rely for our preparation as we have got limited time less guidance and huge syllabus so we need to a good strategy scores. okay so the as I have said uh, if I include the strategy and answer of these questions in this lecture the lecture length will be so long okay so that's why i will actually answer these questions in the next lecture right okay so the next question is i'm kushara okay for upc geology group my queries are regarding model answers and answer writing practice i would like to know if there is any way to get model answers which will provide idea for self-evaluation okay the evolution is might help in this regard okay so they have also a lecture uh, is three results right so the answer for this is the you should contact evolution okay and yes we are also starting in our group with the idea about how we are going to start i will give you in the next lecture also it would be great if you could provide details on available mock tests for people in bangalore i don't know as of now how it is available in Bangalore okay so sorry for that please do mention about possibility of the syllabus change no right now I haven't heard about it and for zoology student we should think about only our syllabus we are not going to waste any time in such thing okay so the notification has already been there zoology will be there so just think about zoology study don't think about any syllabus change for now the next question is Mm, I'm not good in making notes means asking particularly about cordex non cordex and we start making notes of any topic Okay, everything seems important and so this is the case with everyone Okay, the, the cordex and non cordex is a very difficult part and when you read it from Code Paul or even notes of evolution only you will find it that everything is important and It becomes so bulky that you will just lose hope Okay, but for that we have answers so but I'm starting to do that when we have uh, start our lecture series okay in that lecture series I'm going to simplify all the non coded and coded syllabus one by one and give you the notes of also, also which, uh, although the notes will cost you something right but the video lectures will be free so that notes along with the simplified notes along with the lecture I will be taking a few on the YouTube 
so this the problems of like uh, the watch it called import on and what is not called import on we are going to deal with all of that okay just wait for our first lecture of uh, topics in the subject right the next is the final place we do innovative way to okay, the same question almost it's difficult to remember uh, understand all the topics not a single good source if you can guide me only way video lectures it's extremely difficult to remember yes it's difficult but as we have said we are going to start the lecture series soon in this one or two days only and while continuing with i also going to give you how uh, the notes will be distributed to you whether it will be charged or non charged or okay so this yes, uh, i think the lectures already exceeded its time okay so next make meet in the never next lecture the next lecture will be about how to study zoology for upsc right so this was just for our introduction lecture have a great day bye bye